Good day, viewers. My name is Sarah Ayodeji Fatoroshe. I co pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Discipleship Centre with my husband, Pastor Adonai Fatoroshe, in Portsmouth. We are reflecting from the open heavens written by our, by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adiboy. Our topic for today is under authority. Our Bible passage is from Luke 7, verses 1 to 10. Now when he concluded all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum, and a certain centurion servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die. So when he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, pleading with him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they begged him, earnestly saying that, they, that the one for whom he should do this was deserving, for he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was already not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not even think myself worthy to, to, to come to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd, that I followed him, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, and not even in Israel. And those who were sent returning to the house found the servant well who had been sick. Our memory verse is taken from Luke 7, verse 7. Therefore, I did not even think myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. Our reflections. When we talk of authority in the context of today's reflections, it is twofold. Firstly, we must recognise that we must be submissive to authority and we must also realise that we, we too have authority and must walk in it. Firstly, we must recognise recognize that we have no authority unless we are under authority. Acts 19, 15-16 says, And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know Paul, I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcome them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. A group of men were trying to cast out demons by saying in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. They themselves were not submitted to the authority of Jesus and therefore they had no authority over the demons. If you are submitted to the authority of God, you will be completely obedient to his commandments and everything that he instructs you to do. We also need to realise that God has put in place those who represent his authority on the earth and it is our duty to obey them. By so doing, we are obeying God himself. The root of disobeying authority is pride because deep down we feel that we can do better than our pastor, boss or spouse. In actual fact, it's not about who can do better, but it is about who God has given the authority to. If you have some skills that you can contribute to your leader, then find a way to do it and help them without undermining their authority. Once you are submitted completely to God and other authorities and you have a good knowledge and understanding about submiss submission, you can now be confident to walk in the authority that you have been given. Remember that Luke 10, 19 says, Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will in injure you. Hallelujah. Our action point. It takes you being under God's authority to operate by his authority. I pray with you that as you submit to God's authority, the Lord will give you authority from today in Jesus' name. Bye for now, viewers.